Hi there, and welcome back to another Bob Blast. I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is all about me painting, doing my small warm-ups, getting myself ready for, here comes the big news, I'm going to be going to the Smithsonian Folk Arts Circus Festival over the 4th of July weekend in Washington, D.C. with my circus paintings. Can you believe it? Pretty cool, huh? Let me show you what I'm working on. So I'm painting on two circus canvases, the theme being tightrope walkers, and the color is from my color wheel. So the dominant color I've already chosen will be violet, purple, okay? Focal point color, green, and the two spice colors looks like an orange and this cerulean blue. I have my colors already squeezed out from the Holbein acrylic paints. There's my white, ready to go. Here are the two pieces already. Look, you're looking at them the way I painted them, really loosely. So now I like to turn them upside down, so that'll be upside down, right? And here we go. I'm going to turn them upside down to me. That way, I just see the colors. I'm doing my color correction at this point. And and not really concerned about the detail. That's the most important part. Working somewhat fast. There we go. What I liked about the circus is going to the circus is looking up into the top of the tent and seeing that wonderful color blue-ish. There we go. So the dominant color, I'm sticking with it. Sticking with it, painting on both of them at the same time, constantly correcting the color. There. There we go. So I'm doing negative shape painting here. You know, I didn't actually paint the wire this is that wonderful tightrope walk, walker of the family. And this is Nick. And uh, wonderful. Hello. Oh, great skill. Okay, now. I'm making sure that stays loose. Down the color. Can't miss it. Some of that orange peek through. Now the focal point color is this Kelly Green. I'm gonna mix up some Kelly Green. That's really can't miss that one. I love painting this way. Fast and furious. All right. And let's squeeze out some more yellow. There we go. This paint, I like to keep it nice and juicy. What I like about it also, I can add a lot of water to it and it still stays opaque. Doesn't break down. It has a lot of opacity to it and that's what I like about it. I'm gonna brighten it up even more. Don't be afraid, here we go. Whew. Now we're kicking up focal point, right? And the two spice colors, like a little bit of orange. I'm gonna make my own orange here. A little bit of yellow, a little bit of hot pink. There you go. Whoa. Look at that. That's the orange I'm looking for. It's close. Close enough. There we go. Whew. Color everywhere. Right. And that blue. Oh yeah, that beautiful blue. It's kind of a compost blue. And we'll just oh yeah. Make the spot right up in here. Whew. Do the same over here. I'm gonna do it down here. A little bit different. Right. So that's how I work on the next phase of a painting where I turn it upside down and just get the colors working off me. 
with me. Scraping, scratching. It keeps me from doing details right off the bat. So I always like to say under every good painting is a good abstract painting. So I will then turn it around again, finish it all up, let it dry, and keep painting. It, remember, it's called practicing every day in your studio. And hey, I'll see you on the 4th of July, that weekend at the Smithsonian. Can't wait. Take care. So some of you have been asking about workshops. I have some dates. Let me read them off to you, okay? Two weeks in Mendocino. Yay, I love going up there. Two weeks, whoa. The first week, start abstract painting today. Okay, cool. We're gonna do that the whole week and we paint all like crazy. The second week, larger and looser. It's gonna be another wonderful week there up in Mendocino. That's July the 17th to the 21st. Okay, then there's Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. Love going there, don't we all? Because the art store is right there. August 21st to the 25th. That's abstract acrylic painting and collage. It's gonna be fantastic. We tear a lot of paper and we can have a great time up there. And the art store is right there. Great, huh? And then don't forget two loosen up workshops coming up in September. That's in Utah, the Watercolor Society in Logan, Utah. Okay, that's September the 11th to the 15th. I can't wait to go there. And Vancouver, Vancouver Island Art Workshop. I've been there before. I love going there. So that's gonna be great. That's in September the 25th to the 29th. Sorry, I had to read it. I can't memorize all this stuff. I'm just so lucky somebody wrote it down for me. Hey, thanks for watching, and I hope to see it for some of those workshops.